she's wondering if women with PCOS are at a higher risk for ovarian cancer, and if so, are there any tests? Um, there's not any evidence that I'm aware of that PCOS puts, uh, puts you at any increased risk for ovarian cancer. And cancer risk factors primarily have to do with family history. So family history of breast or ovarian cancer is the number one risk. And that comes through that, uh, primarily through that BRCA gene. There's a BRCA1 and a BRCA2 gene mutations. Uh, that are known to be associated with increased risk of breast cancer and ovarian cancer, but they have nothing to do with PCOS. The only, the only cancer that I'm aware of that there's a potential increased risk of with PCOS is uterine cancer, so endometrial cancer. Patients with PCOS typically are not ovulating regularly. If you don't ovulate regularly, you're making a lot of estrogen, and so there's just this kind of chronic estrogenic stimulation of the endometrium. The endometrium thickens up, um, and that can lead to what we call hyperplasia, which is potentially precancerous. The main thing you do to reduce that risk, get some progesterone. So either through ovulation you're going to make progesterone, or through um, you know extrinsic progesterone, so either birth control pills or just progesterone tablets. So in terms of uh, if you have if you have a genetic tendency for ovarian cancer with one of those breast cancer genes I was mentioning, birth control pills are the number one thing you can do to reduce your risk until you've completed childbearing. Uh, and then a lot of times we recommend to remove the tubes and ovaries because that's the real source of the problem. Okay.